You can see he contributed while he was up here. He's a very aggressive young man. He's a good football player. He's going to have a heck of a career. He can. He can't. Thinks he can sing better than he can. <laughs> now he he entertains you on the bus on the way home. But uh, we love having Jacoby with us, and we're looking forward to having three more years of him. Jacoby Legat. Next, we'll go to our sophomores. First off, this guy's a little special to me. It's my grandson, Luke Alward. Come on, Luke. <laughs> we, stole, we stole Luke off the JVs as well because we knew he could play. Uh, he averaged six tackles a game, forced multiple fumbles, recovered uh, many as well in the JV, spearheading their secondary. He also made uh, a game-saving play in our Lake Fenton game just before half when he forced a fumble and recovered it, keeping them out of the end zone. Uh, he's got a very bright future uh, in this sport. We're expecting him to do great things next year. And uh, I feel bad for him. He's got to put up with his dad and me. But uh, he knows. He knows we love him. And uh, we'll get after it, buddy. Luke. Max Macklock. <laughs> he almost run out of room on this slide here. Max is uh, an incredible talent, as anybody that's watched this at all knows. Max uh, didn't play, what, two games? He missed two games, but yet he still did, although it's not on the screen. He was first team all league, unanimous as a sophomore. That's incredible at any grade level, but he was a sophomore. First team all region. First team Flint area dream team. You see what he did on tackles and interceptions. Four interceptions? He had four interceptions? Okay. <laughs> well, was the dummy that put this together missed it. I'm sorry. And uh, touchdowns. He's just an incredible talent. We get him back for two more years. The league is... Scared to death, and they were scared to death this year. Imagine what they're going to be like the next couple of years. Max Mack. <laughs> Colton Rowe. <laughs> we stole Colton off the JVs. <laughs> But before he came up to us, he led the JVs in tackles from his middle linebacker position, and then he came up and he contributed on the, on the varsity. He's got a nose for the football. He's an incredibly talented football player that's going to have a great career here. Uh, we're excited about having him back for a couple of years. Uh, I think you're going to see number 20, right? That, that was your number? Yeah. Number 20, uh, running around. Uh, the football field next fall, Colton Rowe. <laughs> Chase Burnett. Yes, uh, another incredible sophomore. This young man is, he's a football player's football player. He will go knock you in the dirt. He will knock you down and then get up and help you up and then knock you down again in the next play. He was second team all league at linebacker, and we all know he's first teamer. Uh, but you never get, you know, we had Easton Phipps, who was Mr. Linebacker. We're not going to get two. So it was kind of, that was too bad. <laughs> next year. Next year, we're going to push very hard. We're going to get two of them because we deserve two of them. Because I don't know if anybody uh, has got a better linebacker on any other team in our league than this guy. Uh, he uh, also did all kinds of blocking for us, wore people down. If you paid attention to our games, people that he was hitting came hard at the beginning of the game. By the middle of the game, they weren't coming as hard. And by the end of the game, they were looking for where the bus was. 
because they wanted to get out of there because they were tired of Chase banging on them. Exceptional talent. We're so excited about C.A. Hamilton coming back. Outstanding young man, Chase Burnett. Landon Williams. Landon's another sophomore we stole from the JVs in that season. Landon led the uh, JVs in receptions, yards, receiving TDs. He started at tight end and defensive end for them. Did uh, wonderful things, you right? Okay. Did wonderful things for him. We brought him up and uh, he uh, solidified our tight end, backed up his brother. And uh, the thing is, he's a heck of a talent, heck of a receiver. We're looking forward to having him for another couple of years. Landon Williams. <laughs> Gavin Valley. We've got a few sophomores, don't we? Gavin, exceptional talent, second team all league. Wide receiver, defensive back. If you watched him play, uh, uh, how athletic he is, how well he runs the field, how hard he hits people. Uh, he, uh, I never, who was it? There was the Bowers kid from Corona that you put down, and then you did somebody in the playoffs. Who was that? Yeah, the South Christian guy that uh, didn't know if he was going to get up for a while. But uh, Gavin yeah, will hit you, and we get to have him back for a couple of years. We're looking forward to. Him being a key part in our secondary and in our receiving core as we get after it again next year, Gavin Valley. <laughs> Gavin Suka. <laughs> Another extremely talented sophomore. Gavin played offensive guard for us. Played one side of the ball most of the time. He got on defense very little. Offensive linemen don't have stats. There's really nothing to put up here. But anybody that knows our team and watched our team, they watched how he progressed. How he came from a wide-eyed sophomore wondering, can I play up here? To by the end of the year, he was one of our best linemen. He is uh, athletic, tough nose, and he's always got a smile on his face. <laughs> And we get him back for two, year, two more years. Gavin Suka. <laughs> and our juniors. We'll start out with Easton. Easton is one of our very best football players, obviously. He is, uh, as you can see, he was first team all league, unanimous. First team all region, first team all state, first team all dream team. He led us in tackles, 134 tackles. Now granted, we had a long season, but we had a lot of good football players on this team. And he led us in tackles. Extremely, extremely tough young man. One of our key leaders, just like him and Chase, him and Chase would go uh, lead our ISOs and have to block people over and over again. And I go back to the Corona game last year, all through this year, he just wears people out. Just wears them out. Exceptional young man, exceptional talent. We get him back next year in senior year. And I'm sure he's gonna repeat all of this stuff again in spades. Easton Phipps. Luke Francis. <laughs> Luke's one of the very few people that smiles during his photograph. I know there's some there's some stigma about football players you're supposed to look tough or whatever. I never did that, but I don't, maybe that's because I wasn't that tough. But you you just smile. And I love it. When I see the smile, I think, yeah. Smile, because then they don't know what you think. They don't know what's going on behind them. But Luke, outstanding young man, junior, never says a word. 
I mean, seriously, it never says a word. <laughs> we, uh, we went up to Elma Camp, and we, were gonna, we told him he was going to have to tell a joke to the team. That never happened, did it? It did not. <laughs> it will have next Elma Camp. Next Elma Camp, yeah, we talked about it, but it never happened. Well, I want to. I want to see him do it. I want to see him do it. So next year, you got you got till June. All right. All right. Running back, linebacker. Uh, as you can see, he had a ton of tackles. Four tackles for loss. Force fumble. Four fumble recoveries. That leads our team, I believe. Uh, outstanding young man. And we know it, even though he doesn't talk. And uh, we're looking forward to having Luke back next year. Anthony. Anthony Lewis. I love this guy. Anthony is uh, just an outstanding young man. He didn't play as much as he would like to, nor as much as we would like to have him play. He's got skills. And we're going to continue to work on him in this offseason, right? We're going to get him on the field and be in a force that we know that he can be. Because he can move, he can hit. He had three tackles for a loss in the little time that he played. So he's got an awful lot of potential. We're going to do our best to untap, pull it out of him. So you have a standing senior year because we love having Anthony around. Look at that smile. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> Landon Purdue. <laughs> Again, Landon's an offensive lineman. There are no stats for offensive linemen. I mean, so, uh, but Landon is one of those guys that you have to have on your team. He's the first guy to practice, I know, because I'm usually the first guy there, and he's usually either there in the parking lot when I get there or shortly afterwards. Uh, he shows up, does his work on the scout team, does what he needs to do to try to make us better. Every team's got to have that. Hopefully in the offseason we can get him in the weight room a lot more, get him stronger so he sees the field an awful lot more his senior year. But we've got to have him on our team going going through next year. Landon Purdue. Yeah. Matt Wynn. Yeah. Well, the transfer got smiled on us. You know, you hear about all these other schools getting transfers here and there. We never get those. Uh, but then again, we don't go asking for him either. But uh, Matt showed up on our, our doorstep, and what a, what a godsend. What a godsend. He solidified our uh, center position. Uh, he's one of the best centers we've ever had. Uh, outstanding young man. Loves to be talked about, especially much in, in front of a bunch of people, right? Uh, he was first team all league unanimous offensive lineman. He is honorable mention Flint area dream team. As you can see, with those kind of stats and his skills, <laughs> next year the sky's the limit for Matt. And he's probably going to have to play some defense too. All right, Matthew. Lots of pancakes, lots of pancakes. Yeah, Xander. Yeah. Alexander Tideman. Again, offensive lineman, no stats. So you're, that's why there's not as much up there. Uh, Alexander always shows up. Shows up, works hard, does what he needs to do. Always working hard on the defense, on the uh, scout team to make us better. Ended up getting into a backup role, worked himself into a backup role, and did some nice things. Broke his hand, that slowed him down towards the end of the season, but fortunately he was able to come back at the very end and experience Ford Field with us. But we're excited about having Xander back next year, so I know he'll be in the weight room. I know he'll do everything we ask him to do. And next year, 
is your year, buddy. Thanks, Dave. And the seniors. Now, this is going to be a little tougher, but we'll get through this. First off, our quarterback. Gavin Hart is our quarterback. Uh, and the program says he plays defensive back. I don't know when he did that, but he's, he's our quarterback. He was second team all league, and that's basically because we run the ball too much. And there's two other guys who had better stats who they just throw the ball all the time. Uh, but they finished behind us too. So, but he was first team academic all state. You look at his completions. He had 100 completions. That's incredible for a year. He had 1,830 yards, 20 touchdowns. He's a very talented young man. He hasn't reached his potential. I would love to see him continue to play in college. I think he can. Hopefully he thinks he can and decides that he wants to do that because I'd love to watch him play a little bit more because I, I think there's a lot more that can come out of Gavin Hart. We're going to miss him. Uh, he's going to miss me, arguing with me, <laughs> maybe a little, but we love him, Gavin Hart. <laughs> Brian Karras. <laughs> Brian Karras. He, uh, a senior, wide receiver, linebacker, uh, first team academic all state. He got a he had a serious knee injury last year that uh, kept him out for most of the season. Uh, but he was always with us, and we wanted him to be with us because it's Brian. And uh, he came back. He came back and was able to get on the field and uh, practice with us and help us a little bit towards the end of the season. So I'm so happy that it happened for him for all the effort and all the work that he's done since he started his football playing career here at Goodridge, it was outstanding to have him finish it uh, at Ford Field. Well deserved. We're gonna miss Brian, but hopefully he'll come around and see us. Brian here. Andrew. Andrew Hamilton. Wide receiver, defensive back. He was second team all league defensive back. First team academic all state. Uh, you can see that his tackles and interceptions. Andrew became one of our very best DBs. No question. He covered some very good football players. If you notice the state championship game, that's two of the best plays that you're gonna see a defensive back play make at any level at literally any level. And he did it on the big stage. Andrew is great to have around. He's a character. We love him. Hate to see, it. Hate to, hate to see him go. Uh, he's going to be hard to replace. Andrew Hamilton. Defensive back, safety, uh, captain. He was one of our captains. Honorable mention all league. First team in academic all state. He's one of the uh, key people in our secondary, along with Caden. Kept us straight. I swear they understood the coverages and what we did better than we did. Uh, they were just outstanding. He's just a great, great kid. He uh, is a success story. You look at last year, he didn't play as much as he wanted to. He worked hard in the weight room. He committed himself to what we wanted to do. And he came back and had one of the best senior years of anybody on his team. All well-deserved, all earned by this young man standing next to me. Owen DeCicci, we're gonna miss you. Guys.
Jace. Big yeah. grade, Jace Williams. Another senior captain, tight end, here's our tight end, defensive end. First team all league, unanimous. First team all region, honorable mention, Flint area dream team. As you can see, if there's tackles, sacks, 20 tackles for loss. That's incredible to have somebody 20. We had like three of them, three or three guys with 20 tackles or better. Jace is a very talented young man. I hope that he continues his his uh, football career next year. In fact, we've got scouts and football coaches are coming in and they're all asking about him. So I think he will if he decides that he wants to. Uh, he's got a lot of potential that he hasn't realized as well. And plus, he's just so much the fun on had fun on the team. He's always got a smile on his face and he always does something goofy. Uh, everybody, everybody loves to get after Jace. I don't know. You're mad at somebody. You're fighting with somebody all the time. But. Uh, it's kind of, and they're not a real fight. They're just kind of goofing around. But uh, he makes practice fun, and he is going to be he's going to be missed. He'll be missed dearly, and uh, hopefully he uh, continues his career so we can go watch him play some more. Uh, and he comes back to see us, Jace Williams. Nick Satera. Nick played uh, wide receiver, defensive back for us. Uh, Nick is one of those young men that you have to have in your football team. He's just, he's one of the greatest kids on this team. And there's not a person that would disagree with that. He is just an outstanding young man. And he's a good athlete and good football player. He didn't play as much as he would like to, not as much as we would have liked to have had, had him play. He uh, broke his finger, what, back in Frankenmuth, yeah, I was gonna say August. He broke his finger and that kept him sideline for quite a while. But then he fought through that, uh, came back, got on grass, and was able to contribute. He contributes in, the, in practice. He contributed throughout the season to help make us who we were today. You can't, you can't have a team without having a Nick Segura. Guys like Nick Segura. We're gonna miss him terribly. King Koldowski, I had to I had to reduce the fonts on this to get him in the hand. But as you can see, he was a captain, first team all league unanimous, first team all region, first team all state, first team Flint Area Dream Team, first team academic all state, 78 tackles, two for loss, five interceptions. It goes on and on and on. 55 or 57 extra points. And if we could have not got so many field goals blocked, you would have had a bunch of field goals, too. Just anybody that knows us and watched us, they, they know that Caden was the guy that everybody pointed to. He got all the attention of our opponents all season long and uh, well-deserved, as you can see how effective he is. Uh, they did articles about how he was Mr. Everything. He was All-State as an athlete. I think that's the hardest position to get. Yeah, you can be outstate as a lineman. You can be outstate as a running back, outstate as a quarterback, outstate as a receiver. But athlete is somebody that is excels all over the football field. Nobody does it better than this young man. He is absolutely incredible. Uh, we'll replace him with a body, but we won't replace Caden Kodanowski. And uh, he's going to be dearly missed. We hope that he comes back and sees us once in a while and lets us know how we get, we're all going to be working for him someday anyway. Caden Cole Knox. Jace Simerson. What do you say about Jace? What a year. Uh, he was a running back linebacker, but 
I don't ever remember you playing linebacker. Um, all right. But he was first team all league unanimous, first team all region, first team all state, first team Flint area dream team, 1,460 yards rushing. Out of 268 carries, he fumbled three times. That stat is incredible. That's an incredible stat. 268 carries, three fumbles. Why'd you fumble the ball three times? <laughs> I mean, it, it just, he was just Mr. Durable. He, uh, he'd get 25, 30 carries a game. He'd get pounded on, pounded on, pounded on, held on to the football, put those kind of numbers up. Uh, everybody talked about Siverson and how they were gonna stop him. Few were successful. Very few. We're going to miss him next year. Uh, he uh, obviously led us in touchdowns, led us in carries, led us in yards. Next year we'll replace him, but when you don't replace a Jay Simerson. Hopefully he'll come back and see us. Logan Grant. <laughs> Logan played uh, running back defensive line. He was first team academic all state. Uh, he had five tackles for a loss. He, uh, outstanding young man that was so happy he came out for football this year. I think he is too. I think, I know he was good for our football team. He made us better on both sides of the ball, uh, playing hard on, on, the, on the scout teams and in practice and different things, backing us up a lot in the backfield on the offense and getting his time on defense where we needed him in certain personnel situations. He uh, did an outstanding job. He's a heck of an athlete, heck of a young man. We'll miss him, but we're so glad that he was here and I'm so glad you came out. I don't have to hit you because you didn't play it. Zach Legat. <laughs> senior O line, senior D line, second team all league. Look at this. Second team all league, second year in a row. Second year in a row, he's been second team all league. Then you look at his first team all region, first team all state. Tell me all these. Uh, all these all-star games or all league things are not political. It's exactly what it was. Don't, we won't vote for him and my guy will get an extra vote and I'll get my guy in, he won't get it. It's, I hate that kind of stuff. He's obviously one of the very best in this state at his position. And he proved that after the disappointment of another second team all league, he proved his medal. 27 tackles for a loss. 27 tackles for a loss. That's a career for some guys. And uh, we're, we're gonna miss him, his smiling face, his attitude, his work ethic, and his loyalty. He's been loyal to us, loyal to this program, and he's been supportive of all of us throughout this whole thing. Uh, I can't tell you how much personally I'm gonna miss this young man but this program is going to miss him as well. Zach, look at Austin next time. Austin. Another offensive lineman. Very few stats for offensive line. None for offensive line. Austin, uh, as I mentioned, offensive line, defensive line. Uh, didn't play as much as he'd like to have, or as much as we would have liked to have, to have played. But again, he is one of those young men that you can't have a team without. He worked hard on scout team. He worked hard in the weight room. He did everything that we asked him to do. He made us better, even though it's hard to quantify and hard to, hard to put that into words, but you know that he made us better. When we went to the playoffs, we wanted him on the scout team uh, one of the guys on the scout team, so that we had to go against the best that we had. 
We're going to miss Austin. Like every program will miss guys like Austin. We hope he comes around and sees us again. Austin next time. Great events. What do you say about this guy? Brady was a senior captain, offensive line, defensive line, first team all league, unanimous, honorable mention, Flint area dream team, first team academic all state. You see his tackles, 18 tackles for a loss. 20 is great. He had 18, so he was slack, I guess. What? Beginning of the year, last year Brady was uh, played offensive line for us. Wanted to see what it was like in the backfield as a running back. Promised him we'd take a look at it. This year he came out as one of our senior leaders, knowing what we needed. He knew we needed an offensive line. Never complained. Bowed his neck. Did his job. Came one of our very best offensive linemen and defensive linemen, and he is ultra critical in our success. He is one of the reasons that we're doing the banquet the way we're doing it this year. So proud of him, so proud to be his coach, so proud of his leadership and what he's done for this football team. Brady Betts. Chance Carlson. You've been talking about this boy for a while. From when he almost, we thought he was, we thought he died up in Alma. Twice. Twice, yeah. Jeez. Now uh, he has, a, he has a problem with hydration. He doesn't, he doesn't do it. And he pays for it when he doesn't get hydrated, believe me. And he fell out up at Elm Camp a couple times and scared us, bejesus out of us, believe it. He was first team all league unanimous. Honorable mention, Flint area dream team, 27 tackles for a loss. Incredible. He has a motor like no motor. He never stops. People kept him out of, the, out of their backfield by holding, grabbing, tackling, whatever they could do. And it's true, isn't it? His jersey was half ripped off his body by the end of the year. And they're not supposed to do that, but they do it. But uh, chances, always got a smile, always fun to be around. What an addition to this football team. What a piece of the, of the, the overall puzzle. And uh, we can't tell you how much we're going to miss Chance, but how much we've loved having him with us. Uh, he's been a great, great young man to have on this team, and he's going to be missed dearly by me and by certainly all the rest of us. Chance Carlson. Another offensive lineman with no stats, right? Hunter was an offensive guard, and he did play a little bit of defense, but basically it was on the offensive side. He backed up Brady, backed up Gavin, and did a heck of a job doing that. Uh, he was the first guy in the game, and when we needed another offensive lineman, he worked hard in the uh, and weight room, he also worked hard on scout team to make us better uh, because when he wasn't out with the offense, he was with the scout team trying to make us better. It's always smiling, always coachable, always trying to get better. And uh, we love having Hunter on our football team, and we will miss Hunter. That was our 2022 championship football team. Oh, yeah. Seniors, you forgot to give me your blankets. I'm sorry, Doug. We're going to get those to you. All right. Uh, I did not hit. I did not say anything about our coaching staff at the varsity level. 
I do want to make sure I take the time to introduce them where you guys stacked up. All right. Down at the far end is our offensive line coach, Wheat, our weight guru, Coach Bruce Edwards. <laughs> Next to him with a beard and no hat. His co he coaches defensive backs and wide receivers, Coach Tom Mahaffey. <laughs> Next to him, coaching defensive line and assistant D coordinator and Mr. Uh, Social Media and my right-hand man, Ryan Tomaselli. <laughs> Next to him, coach linebackers and running backs. We're so happy that he decided to coach with us. Dominic Cicardo. And lastly, but not least, my son. And I'm so proud, I've always been proud to say that, but never more than tonight. My son, our D coordinator, Trevor Over. <laughs> now I would like Amy and Mike, stand up for a second, please. Amy, Amy and Mike Hart, what an incredible couple. What they have done for this program this year has been absolutely incredible. Mike and Amy have put in countless hours of making sure our Martian is blown up, making sure that all the signs are out of the field, making sure that the pizza and the team dinners are all on time where they're supposed to be. They are in charge of all of that. They spearheaded this banquet. I basically ask them what they want me to do, and they take it and run. They're an incredible group. They need to be recognized especially for their efforts this season. Seniors, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this, seniors? Do you have a name? Is somebody going to waddle up here and tell me who it is? Every year at this banquet, the outgoing seniors select next year's team's first captain. It is quite an honor because they pick they do a great job of picking, but they pick the young man that represents Goodrich football, their values, and what they want to see go forward. They did a great job again this year. Next year's first captain, Junior Easton Phipps. tougher parts. First off is the uh, farewell of these seniors. As we talked earlier, when they came on, they, uh, they wanted to be a new era. They wanted to start over. They wanted a do-over. They wanted Goodrich football to get back to where Goodrich football was. They're the guys that started it. They're the guys that got us back to running the football. They're the guys that got our toughness back. They're the guys that got us to Ford Field. Their, their impact, their imprint on this community, on this football program, will never be forgotten. Gentlemen, if you go through your entire life and make an imprint even close to the imprint you had here, you're gonna be massively successful. I can't say thank you enough. I'm so proud of you, each and every one of you. You're a special group of young men. We certainly hope that whatever you go, whatever you go on and do in life, you're as successful as you have been in Goodrich football program. We expect to see you back. Your names will never be forgotten and always remembered for the rest of my life, and I'm sure anybody that follows this program. 
We certainly hope that you come back to see us and participate. This, this is home. You're always welcome on my sideline. As you've seen former players, they don't have to ask. They come out. That's a big deal for me, and it certainly will be for you. I expect you to come out with us. You're part of us forever. Hopefully we can be a part of you forever as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then the underclassmen. They set these seniors set the bar awful awful high for you. They put they they put it up there in the stratosphere. But I'm telling you what, people know. Oh, Gritters, they're senior heavy. They lost a lot of people. Our coverage not bare. As you saw what we had. Our coverage not bare. But that work ethic and that commitment that these seniors had. That's what you've got to emulate. That's what you've got to take part of. If you do that, I'm anxious to see what our community is going to do next year when we get back to Fort Hill. It's your turn. We're starting up again in the weight room January 9th. January 9th. You've got until after Christmas, after uh, the New Year. You get, back, you get back to school, I think, on the 3rd or the 2nd. I can't remember what it is. But the following Monday, we're going to start. Hopefully, everybody jumps on board. Now, seniors, make sure you get your, pick your blankets up. There's banners down here that you, you were up in the village. Please take your banners home. Out in the uh, lobby, You'll find those uh, uh, pictures of yourselves that was up on the press box. Take those home so that nobody else has to for you. And uh, that'll take care of that. I'm trying to think. I've forgotten everything. Huh? Then uh, we have a couple more people to thank. Uh, where's Rob? Rob McCray. Rob McCray, our athletic director, I thank you so much for what you helped us do in this run this season to make it so much more special. Thank you, Rob. That was awesome. You went above the year. Griffin. Gets us water, tapes these guys, listens to their stories. Uh, you know, he, he's part of us. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate you because you, again, you go above and beyond. You, you don't, you're not just doing a job. You care about these guys, they care about you. And it comes out in everything that you do. And we thank you for being here. And I, I forgot one coach. Can't believe he did that because he's out, he does he's in the booth with us on Friday nights in game nights. Where's Shane? Shane Mahaffey. Thank you, Shane. That's good. He's, got a, he's got an excellent football mind, and we're fortunate to have you with us. We really are. And I hope you'll continue to be there, even if that other guy doesn't hang around. But he better hang around too. Okay. What did I miss? Chad Tons, Bill Gibbs, where are you? You guys want to stand up? Have you listened to our broadcast? Do they make it better or what? Thank you guys. You make, you make a difference. You make a real difference. You really do. Tim, you want to stand up too? Tim runs our clock on the home games. We're so happy that he's, he, how long have you been doing this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, we're, we're glad you're here. Don't go anywhere. Two seconds. Two seconds. He could have he, he put a zero on a clock, No, He had two seconds left. No, that's what happened. Hey. 
Did I miss anybody? Okay. Now I understand that uh, Brady's got something he wants to say. Come on, Brady. 